It is quite common to see people shaking legs when sitting. Have you ever wondered how many energy you lose from shaking legs? And would just shaking leg for a long time help you lose weight? Calculating and finding the answer for this question is pretty easy, so let's get right into it. There's a process of energy transmission that's happening when we shake legs. Firstly, your biological energy would transfer into kinetic energy, which provides a force that raises your leg upwards and does work. When the leg is raised, it would gain gravitational potential energy, and the gravitational potential energy would then be converted into kinetic energy as the leg falls down. And this process continues. There are two possible ways to calculate how much energy is used when shaking your leg once. According to the law of conservation of energy, assuming that there's no energy wasted, the biological energy would be equal to the kinetic energy provided which would then be equal to the gravitational potential energy. If calculating the biological energy is difficult, we can convert and answer this question by calculating the maximum kinetic energy or the maxi maximum gravitational potential energy. We actually only kick the ground for one short time rather than keep applying force to raise the leg when we're kicking and shaking legs. So if we use the formula for kinetic energy, which equals to 1 half mv squared, with v equals the initial velocity, we will be able to calculate the energy use in one leg shake. Between the first kick and when the leg raises to its highest point, the energy of the leg is constructed by some kinetic energy and some gravitational potential energy, which is difficult to calculate as well. After the leg reaches its highest point and therefore becomes stationary for a very short period of time, we can use the formula gravitational potential energy equals to mgh. Since measuring the change in the height of the leg is much easier than measuring the initial velocity of the leg, the second method is going to be used. First, we can assume that the center of mass is rested with no gravitational potential energy. The average mass of a leg is 12 kilograms. The average change in the height of the center of mass of a leg is around 6 centimeters, which equals to 0 0.06 meters. The gravitational field strength would be taken as 9.81, therefore the energy cost is... Seven point zero six three two joules per shake. This means that if you shake your leg ten times, you use up seventy point six three two joules. A hundred times, seven hundred and six point three two joules. A thousand times, seven thousand and sixty three point two joules. Since one calorie is equal to four thousand one hundred eighty four joules, to use up one calorie, you would have to shake your leg for. around 600 times.